and you just wanted to spray more. According to the national statistics, the length of stay for hospice programs is 36 days and 28% of patients die within the first seven days. A patient and their family need to be enrolled for at least 60 days to maximize the benefits the hospice has to offer. This means that by educating people on how early referrals is the key to utilizing everything hospice has to offer. I look, I work in a medical office where the doctors um, refer people to hospice at least a few times a month. This normally occurs when they are, have, are either bedridden or the family has got to the point that they can't deal with the pain that the patient's endearing. And I've also had two family members in the last three years that have suffered from cancer that were unable to benefit from hospice until the last few days of their lives because they were unaware of what hospice had to offer. At, at some point in their life, you or someone you know may need to utilize this program that hospice has, hospice has to offer. From the moment a person's diagnosed with a terminal illness, they most often focus only on dying. Hospice is focused on the quality of life. Hospice of Huntington depends on people like you and I to educate others on how to utilize the programs hospice has to offer through early referral. Tonight I will share with you the many reasons the hospice needs the public to be more aware of what early referrals will do to help the terminally ill and their families and what we can do to help. Now that we know how important it is to educate the community of early referrals, let's take a look at why it is so important. Ideally, on it, an individual will receive hospice care for the final months of life, not just the final days. Statistics from the Journal of Pain and Symptom Management and the New England Journal of Medicine, patients that maximize hospice through early referrals live anywhere from three weeks to three months longer than patients that do not utilize hospice. Finances can be a major burden for patients with terminal illness. Most hospice patients are Medicare patients, and Medicare has a hospice benefit that pays out of pocket expenses at a minimum for the last few months of life and pays for all hospice services, including bereavement services for the patient's family after the patient has passed away. Um, most all insurances have a hospice benefit. Um, if they do not, Hospice will work with you like on a sliding scale or to minimize the cost. Hospice cares for many types of illnesses such as cancer, heart failure, COPD, Alzheimer's, AIDS, anyone with a terminal illness. Along with offering more spiritual care and offerings and are more breakthrough barriers that can prevent some cultures from experiencing spiritual and management and pain management and social spiritual family would benefit from earlier use. Early discussions about hospice can facilitate an open communication, provide clients a choice and sense of control. Early referrals also allow the families time to prepare for changes they will face, giving them time to say goodbye and reduce the chance of the family having prolonged and complicated grief. Now that we know how the community could benefit from information about hospice, let's talk about the many ways that we can spread the word. By working as a volunteer, you can spread the word and wonderful things that hospice does. Whether it's working in the gift shop, helping with the memorial tree campaign, or assisting with the grief camp. Educate family members on the benefits of hospice. You can pass out flyers about the support groups that are offered in the area. Or if you're joined a civil group or a social group or even your place of employment, they will talk to your boss. They will come in and, and discuss it with um, at large groups or small groups. Welcome Hospice as a friend on Facebook. Discuss with your minister or your priest about introducing hospice to the congregation. 
Now that you can see the many ways to educate the public, think of the great, how great it would be if everyone with a terminal illness were able to live the last few months of their lives knowing that they and their families will have the care and support needed to get through those difficult times. Imagine what it would be like if everyone with a life-limiting illness and their families had the care, support, and decisions making information available to them. Pain and symptom management is their number one priority for the patient. By utilizing hospice earlier, hospice staff is able to address the patient's needs sooner and crisis can be avoided. Hospice patients very rarely have to go to the ER or be admitted to the hospital because hospice staff is able to perform the treatments that the patient needs at home. Early referrals allow the patient advanced directives to be prepared to avoid difficult decisions later on. Patients also benefit from being able to develop a personal and professional relationship with support staff and volunteers. This helps them to, to discuss end of life goals and create optimal plans designed around the patient's needs and families. Early grief support for the patients help them such struggles as losing their <coughs> independence, controlling physical functions, and accepting their illness. It also helps with preparing the family by offering support groups, community groups, seminars, individuals, and family grief counseling. And continue to do this for 18 months after the patient has passed away. We are all here at MCTC because we know the importance of an education. In knowing this, I hope that you can help in educating others on what a difference an early referral to hospice means. Tonight I've shared with you the information on how important an early referral to hospice is to us and our loved ones, along with several ways of spreading the word and educating the community. Remember that just by going home and befriending hospice on Facebook, you're introducing your friends and their friends and so on to a wonderful program the hospice has to offer. Everyone at some time in their lives will either themselves or a loved one face a terminal illness. Hospice is about living life to the fullest and the moment of death. Don't be one of the many thousands to tell hospice that they wished they had come to them sooner.